extraneous magnetic field is not part and parcel to what we are observing in the phenomenon that I've shown you on the previous two videos. Electricity seemingly is an intrinsic part of what gravity is. It's not the sole thing, but it is one aspect of the phenomenology. What I have here is a piece of Moo metal, which is an excellent nickel iron alloy that is a magnetic shield. I have this is simply plastic with a plastic buffer and the graphite electrode subject to the high voltage AC current from the Tesla stop bar circuit. Here we have a, magnet, a magnetometer that I have um, registering with this mini iPad. And what I'm going to do initially is to show you, again, you'll see a differential when I turn on, activate the system with unilateral electrode activation, you'll see the weight of this object will become greater. So we are imparting a greater electric field to the constituent graphite electrode, and you'll see a subsequent weight alteration. I want you to watch the magnometer or magnetometer um, reading here, and you'll see that there is really no intrinsic differential whether the system is on or off. It's a very, very minor fluctuation, but the magnetic field is not part and parcel to what's causing this delta. So here we go. I'm going to activate the system now. Activating system now. You can see there is a change, but the overall net effect with the magnetometer is within realm. Nothing mag nothing magnificent. Shut it off. Returns to normal. Okay. Activating the system again. There's a small delta, but it's only 10 micro teslas. Not something that could cause that type of an effect. So for what it's worth, we're seeing a very, very, very small magnetic change <laughs> in delta in comparison to what the overall physical effect is. Again, so we're starting at approximately 52 microteslas activating the system. 60 to 62 microteslas. So we're only seeing really a 10 microtesla differential between the net effect of the deflection as caused by the high voltage AC electric field from the Tesla cell bar circuit. So for what it's worth, again, what we're seeing here is truly an isolated system. We have Moo Metal, the nickel iron buffer that's completely dissociating any type of magnetic field from below. And what we're seeing is truly an HVAC alteration and delta in the weight of the object as per what we are influencing the milieu that it is surrounded with in. So this really begs one to ask the question, is it possible to alter gravity by negating the effect of what the HVAC is doing as well as the magnetic field? If we can neutralize both of those, are we able to create an AG type of scenario? All inputs welcome and just thought you might find this very interesting. Thank you again for watching. And again, just to show you again, we're seeing here we are at approximately 70 micro teslas activating the system. We'll see a delta and change in the position. We're now at 60 micro teslas, shutting the system off, returning back to approximately 62 micro tesla. So again, my argument would be that the magnetic field involvement here is nominal at best. What we are looking at is truly an electro um, electric phenomenon, a phenomenology of alteration weight in accordance to the graphite electrode that we're seeing there. Again, mu metal, isolation, strict electric field to the graphite, graphite electrode, Tesla meter. Thanks for watching. All thoughts are welcome. Have a great night.